Look at this place, isn't it just stunning? Oh, hi, Nick. Welcome back to Fallout 4, ladies and gents. The last video we did a whole bunch of plays. We'll have to get all up to the same power. Sorry lah. If you open ready, you should put back ah. Sorry lah. Then what you do now, lah? No one. You don't want. My dad. Right, so we gotta build this thing. We actually, I actually did a whole bunch of stuff off camera, including getting all of that, all of this, the whole ring of turrets around this place. Artillery cannon. Uh, what do I need to do? Oh yeah. I need to build. Okay, first of all, I need to build this. I need to build that. To build. I need to build this. And I need a whole buttload of power. So I'm gonna build one of these big generators. That Let's attach a wire. Attach a wire. Wires five. Oh, this. What is this? Oh, this one requires twenty. God. Okay, so yeah, the relay, the relay station, that one will be powered by that, and I'll get two more gen. Oops. I'll get two more jennies right next to it. Attach a wire. One there. One, one, two! Oh, baby! Oops. No. Hey, Papa, this is My mic will pick it up. <gasps> Look at that, quick save. Look at this gotta thing. Make sure we've got enough power. Holy moly, mother of God. I have to make sure this is on the same grid as the rest of the signal interceptor. Oh, okay. Now I gotta attach another wire. There. That should be good. Power up the signal center. Yay! Wow, this thing is amazingly big. Yo, Sturgis. Sturgis. Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Yep. <laughs> Can we test it first? Shouldn't we test it first? I wish we could. But we've only got the one frequency code. There's no way to test it without actually jacking into the Institute signal. And as soon as we do that, we've used our one and only chance. As soon as the Institute figures out what we did, and I gotta believe those Brainiacs won't be caught napping twice, that code we've got is useless. Well, okay then. We're Let's ready. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an Institute signal to lock onto. Then, I fire her up, and we see what happens. Talk to searches. Use the single interceptor. Just oh. get on the platform. I'll do the rest. Oh god, this is gonna be bad. This is a burst of blue color in a place that's mostly brown and gray. Sturges, how are we doing? I can't see my HUD and I can't move. Okay. Hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. Okay. By the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. Yeah, this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. And don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh, just there for decoration. Okay, scanning for the Institute signal. Tracking RF, and got it. Hold on to your butt. Hold on to my butt. Uh oh. Don't greet me with an arbitrary loading screen. Thank you. Hey, we're done. Where's Nick? Oh, great. Oh, I guess I'm alone for this one. Where is my deliverer? Okay, yeah. first of all, I've got to find... I've got to use this thing. Recent access, blah, blah, blah. Error signal be routed. Yeah, that's me. Oh, no, it's supposed to load a holo Uh, course, chip data. Hi, honey! Uh... 
Network scanner, there we go. Initiate network scan. Scan complete. All right, that's that done with. Thank you. And let's see, inside job, impossible to storages, must after dark. But I'm guessing uh, I'm not probably not gonna be able to find my way out of this place so easily. So I guess my objective now is just to wander around, get a feel for the place, and maybe shoot a few things. Hello. Who the hell? I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. Who the hell are you? I'm known as Tom. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Don't tell me he knew I was coming. Institutionalized, enter the elevator. Well, you guys took my son, Busted. Though. Busted. This looks like it looks like we're in freaking aperture laboratories. Gosh. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. Whoa. This is the reality place. of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. And yet your sins kill people. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Yeah, that's because your sins are always armed with weapons. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do. For everyone. Um. Exactly. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Yes. That's what I'm here for. And I'm not leaving until I have him. And I'll ha and I will shoot people if you tell me otherwise. I have this thing. Is that? No, it can't be. No, 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 no. No, that. Ah, oh, what? Well, Wait, why am I here? Broken. B broken my ass. Can't pick this. I get it. What am I supposed? To, what am I? What am I doing here? Uh, I guess I have to activate the quest. Well, if that elevator took me here, um, only opens with a key. What am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to? S no way to pick this. So am I supposed to sit down and? Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean, is that really you? Who are you? Sean, it's me. I'm... I'm your dad. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! Sean, open the door. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Who is Father? Where is he? Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! I have theories. Father, I have a theory. Me. Oh. You. Sean. 
S923, recall code Cirrus. He's a synth. That's not disappointing. That's not the real Sean. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. This is insane. All of it. The degree of trauma you're experiencing right now is understandable. Please, just try to relax. I know this is all difficult to take in. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here, in the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far, and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you, after all this time. It's me. I am Sean. Wait, am what? Your son. It's really you? Well, 200 years after all this time. Yes. It's true. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a 10-year-old boy. You believe that 10 years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not 10, but 60 years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. So, why don't I feel any warmth? But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Human synths? Really? Human-like synths. A great distinction. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the comet. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. And you... you've been down here the whole time? I have, yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. 
He was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? <laughs> Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? Your mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Sean, she loved you so much. I have no doubt. I'm afraid I have very little experience with those emotions. Having lived my life within the Institute, for many years I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if, more often. But, what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. It doesn't matter what they think. What matters is what you do. I'm glad we see it the same way. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. I have killed Just several of yours. Give me time. <coughs> several dozen of your people. I know more for us people, to discuss. I mean, since... But the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? You want me to stay here? In the Institute? Yes. That is what I propose. Is it so hard to imagine? The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. I don't know what to do. I realize that. It's why I'm trying to help you. I hope that you can see that rationally. The Institute is the only thing left in the world that is worth being part of. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? Are you sure you want this? Yes, I am. It would benefit us both to work together. I just don't know. Just give it time. Give the Institute a chance. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time. Get to know it. 
Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in Bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in Advanced Systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them. And then we'll discuss what comes next. Mm-hmm. <laughs>